What's up guys, it is Andrew and Knight and we are back. We are back and today we're going to be talking about NFC tags. Now, NFC tags aren't really big news, they've been around for quite a while. So, once you've got your NFC tags, the big question is what do you use them for? And this stumped me for a uh, herb. This stumped me for a while. Because you buy this thing and you think, oh, it's going to be really useful, it's going to revolutionise my life. And you realise, no, not really. I put one on my door initially, so whenever I enter my flat, I could tap my phone and it would turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. Um, but then I realised I just leave Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on most of the time anyway. So what I've started to use them for is a few slightly more nuanced ways, I think. Um, and I've seen a few videos and articles out there about what they or what people use NFC tags for. This is what I use them for. Um, the first one is for an alarm application, uh, which if we go somewhere over here, we should be able to find. I'm using the new, um, not chameleon, uh, what's the word? Bum bum bum. What the hell is this launcher called? Aviate Launcher, new Aviate Launcher, looks really really nice, have to say they've done a great job. I might even start using this as my everyday launcher for a while just to see how it goes um, and see how I can customise it. But anyway, um, back to the NFC tags. The first app I use them with is an alarm application and it's called Puzzle Alarm. Uh, if we get the P down there, there we go. And this is really good, I'm useless in the morning, it takes me like three hours to get out of bed normally. I just lie in bed thinking, God why, and then go back to bed. So what this does is force you to get out of bed. <clears throat> You can choose the dismiss mode to be NFC tag. You can also do the exact. You can do exactly the same thing with a QR code, uh, but that would mean printing off a QR code and stuff, which is a bit more of a hassle, I think. Um, all I did was grab an NFC tag and I stuck it to my mirror in the bathroom. So it means in the morning to turn my alarm off, I have to wake up, get out of bed, carry my phone through, touch my phone to the mirror, and normally by the time I've done that, I'm at least in close enough proximity to a sink to like splash my face with water and just get up. Uh, it works really, really well, and it's the first alarm application that I've used. I've used a bunch of different puzzle ones that actually does get me out of bed. So if you're looking for a use for an NFC tag and you find it difficult to get up in the morning, this is a pretty good use. Uh, I have to say, this has been fantastic. The other thing I've started to use it for, and for this I'm going to grab my newly resurrected... Where is it? There we go. My new, oh god, just smashed it. We're gonna break now. My newly resurrected netbook. Um, I had this a while back before I had my MacBook and before I had a tablet. And I've actually started using it again just for writing and stuff. Like in bed, it's so light compared to having a MacBook, and it's got slightly better functionality than the tablet as far as writing goes. The other thing I use it for is when I'm out of about and want to write stuff down. It's just a lot lighter to carry than my MacBook. So what I've done is stuck an NFC tag next to the trackpad, and if I tap this. Theoretically, there we go. It launches a Wi Fi hotspot which auto connects on my laptop. So it means I've got Wi Fi or sort of 3G Wi Fi, whatever you want to call it, wherever I go. Um, it's really, really useful to tap again, it turns it on and off. I like being able to just go ding and then it works and ding and then it's off again. And it is a lot quicker than actually having to open it up and to turn the connection on and off. This is just a much quicker way of doing it. And sort of in the same vein, the other thing I've been using these NFC tags for is my headphones. Which look a little bit like this. These are some Sony um, something. For some reason, they have something that looks like the Nespresso logo, which I've never quite understood. Um, these are really, really nice headphones. My dad got them and they sort of made his ears too warm when he was cycling, so he gave them to me. And I was like, yeah, thank you very much. Lovely pair of Bluetooth headphones. Um, I will try and find what they are and put a link in the description because I can't recommend these enough. They're fantastic. What I did was stuck an NFC tag on here. And again, these are plastic, so it works really well. So what I do is tap my headphones to my phone and it turns Bluetooth on and connects them and then again if I just touch it again it turns Bluetooth off. They're the three main uses I've found, I'm sure there's lots more and if you guys have anything that you use them for definitely post away in the comments. Um, what else, what else, what else? Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Google Plus, also check out droidgames.com for your latest Android games related news and I'll see you guys in the next video and please subscribe, that really helps and hit like. So all the things, do all the good things, and I will love you back. See you guys in the next video.